we're going to put our leaf to good use now by creating a rosette swirl to go with our leaf. So I'm shaking out my paint to get the air bubbles out before I use it. And now I'm going to create a rosette swirl. My paint is going to go in a circular position. Notice it's very hardy. This cannot be skimpy. You don't want to do it skinny. I'm going to start with two colors. I'm going to add just a little accent color here. And we don't want a lot of white showing, not more than what we have there. I'm holding my brush vertically, upright, pressing down in the middle. The brush is the vehicle and the paint is the road. I'm staying on the road, pressing and dragging it around till I come to the end. I'm lifting off gently. Shall we do that again? Hardy amount of paint around. I'm bringing my tail in. Little more accent color. And if we wish, we can add a little bit of glitter to this. Just a little. When it dries, it sparkles. When, it wet, when it's wet, it looks quite milky. I'm holding it vertically. My brush goes down vertically. My brush is the vehicle. The paint is the road. So here I go, pressing and pulling it around. I'm not starting and stopping. I'm pressing and pulling. If you start and stop, you're going to make it muddy. And gently lift off when you're coming to the end. Make it out to a point. And there you have it. Now we can add some leaves to actually make it a flower. So here we go. I'm going to do my leaves at 3 o'clock. Our leaves should be 15 minutes apart. N no, well, I'm not going to do it at 3 o'clock. I have more space down here. So let's make it at 3.30. So I left it open down here. When we did our leaf design, I said you are going to leave it open. And that's so that it fits nicely on our rosette. Again, coming down, bringing that back up. I like to add a contrasting color on my leaf. So here I go. And whatever side you start with, you're going to continue. You don't want to have it haphazardly on different sides. And if we want to put some gold in here, we can do that also. I think the leaves look better when they're 15 minutes apart as opposed to one directly opposite the other. That looks more like a pinwheel. So now we're going to take, let me load it up just a tiny bit. I'm going to take our paint, uh, our brush, and we're going to go from center straight down the middle, slightly to the side. And I'm starting with my yellow, pressing and pulling as I go. My small brush allows me to have nicer grooves. Okay, so we can offload. Going back to my yellow, press and pull. Drag that to the center. Pull in 
now gold side. Offload and rinse. I like to put a swirly on this rather than using a vein. Let's use a swirly. So we're going to take our paint and swirl from the top going around and I'm pressing this in and I'm not bringing it down the same road as I would the vein. The reason I'm not doing that is because I don't want this swirly to look stiff. But I'm coming from the middle and I'm going up and around. I'm pressing it in though. I'll do the same on this one. I'll start here and come up and I'll come down this way. 